Hello again everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video and in today's video I will go through with you the five easy steps of drug calculation that will make your nursing life easier. And this is also particularly helpful for our overseas qualified nurses out there when they take their OSCE here in Australia. I've been a nursing teacher for three years now and I have developed these five easy steps that will surely help you and make your drug calculations easier. So if this video is for you, I do hope that you stay tuned for the rest of the video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button below so then you'll be the first one to get notified whenever I upload informational videos for you. Now before we head into the five steps of medication calculation, it is important to know first and memorize the basics of drug calculation, which is the conversion table and the drug calculation formula. Because obviously, we won't be able to calculate without knowing these two main reference and calculate medication doses at hand. And when you're about to take your OSCE, because you're only given eight minutes of performance time, this will come in very handy for you if you know your conversion and drug calculation formula. Now let's head into the five steps on how to calculate medication doses. And I will explain each of the steps to you. And then we are going to apply it to our practice questions to calculate the medication dose being asked. Now for this video, we are focusing on calculating tablet dosages, mixtures and solutions, and intravenous rate. So the first one is know your numbers first and then identify. You need to understand the question well and what are the numbers mentioned so then you can identify what do we need to calculate, the formula needed, and the unit of measurement that is being asked. Number two is convert if needed. Now looking at the unit of measurement, it needs to be the same before we can calculate. Say for example, the dose available is milligram and the one that has been ordered by the doctor is in grams. Obviously, in this case, we need to convert it first as conversion is very important to get the right answer. Now, the third one is choose the formula according to the numbers at hand. And this is important to be able to get to the right answer, of course. Now, the question you will be asking is, is this a tablet dosage, a mixture or a solution, or is it an intravenous medication, then this will help you identify what formula needs to be used. Now the fourth one is calculate using the formula. Having the right formula will allow you to calculate the drug doses easily, which I will be going through with you in the practical part of this video. Now the last one is you need to check the unit of measurement that is being asked. Otherwise, even though you have the correct numbers, your answer will still be wrong if you put in the wrong unit of measurement. Now let's apply these five steps into calculating medication doses. I will break it down for you in calculating tablet dosages, mixtures and solutions, and intravenous rate. Bear in mind, these are just simple examples that will help and guide you in calculating dosages. And also, the drug calculation here we're focusing on are the dosages that we are more likely going to be calculating when you are practicing as a registered nurse here in Australia. And particularly helpful for our overseas qualified nurses out there who are taking their OSCE. We now go to calculating tablet dosages. Here we have a question. The doctor ordered 150 milligram of aspirin. Now 300 milligram aspirin is available. How many tablets would you give? 
Now going back to that five steps that we learned just then, we're going to now apply this to answer this question. So remember your first step is to know the numbers and identify what is being asked. By looking at the question right here, you already have an overview what formula would you use, what is the unit of measurement, and the numbers or the dosage that we could use to calculate to get to the right answer. Now the second step is to convert if needed. Now going back to this question, we know that we don't need to convert anymore because looking at the unit of measurement, we do have the same unit of measurement, which is, which is milligram. And obviously, if the, the other one is gram, you do definitely need to convert, okay? So it's conversion is very important to get to the right answer. Now, the third step is to choose the right formula. Now, looking at the numbers we have on this question, the question that we need to be asking ourselves is, is this a tablet dosage? Is it a mixture or solution? Or is it an intravenous medication? Obviously, in this um, particular question, it's asking for the tablets that we need to give. So the correct formula for that one is the desired dose over stock is equals to the number of tablets to be given. So this formula is interchangeable. That's why I remember initially, we talk about memorizing the formula because the formula that we use determines the correct answer for the particular question. So the fourth step is to calculate using the formula. Now that we know the uh, formula that we are using, it is then easy for us to calculate what is being asked, okay? We now apply the number that we have, which is 150 milligram of aspirin and 300 milligram of aspirin. Now, putting that number on the formula, the side dose is also the dose ordered by the doctor. So don't get yourself confused on that one, okay? So what is our desired dose? It's 150 milligram and then the um, 300 milligram is the stock dose, okay? We see that, you know, they have the, the same unit of measurement, so we could definitely cancel that one. So then we get to the correct unit of measurement, which is our step number five, okay? Remember, if we don't have the correct unit of measurement, our answer, of course, will be incorrect. So dividing this number, 150 divided by 300 milligram, we will now come up to the answer 0 0.5 tablets. So we now go to the next question, but we're still here at calculating tablet dosages. The question is how many tablets containing 62.5 microgram will be required to give a dose of 0.125 milligram? Now, going back to our five steps again, remember, step number one is to know your numbers and identify what is being asked. So having to look at the question, we already have an overview which formula to use and what do we need to calculate and the unit of measurement um, being asked in this particular question. Now, going to our step number two, which is convert if needed. It's quite obvious with this question that we do need to convert, okay? Now, we need to convert the 0.125 milligram into micrograms. That's why it's very important that we know our conversion table. We do know that one milligram is equals to 1,000 microgram. Remember, whenever you're converting into a bigger unit to a smaller unit, you need to multiply. Hence, 0.125 multiplied by 1,000, we get the 125 micrograms. So the step number three is choose the formula according to the numbers at hand. Okay, so the question you'll be asking yourself is, is it a tablet dosage? Is it a mixture or solution? Or is it an intravenous medication? 
then you will be able to identify the formula which according to um, the uh, question that we have we are still going to be using the uh, formula for the dose tablet dosages which is the desired dose over stock dose is equals to the number number of tablets to be given now the fourth step remember is calculate using the formula that we have here okay so what is the dose prescribed it's 0.125 milligram remember we need to convert it and upon conversion we come up to 125 microgram we need to have the same units okay and the, the stock dose remember tablets containing 62.5 microgram which is this one right here now we need to cancel out that unit of measurement so then we get to our step number five which is the correct unit of measurement that we need to put on our answer 125 divided by 62.5 microgram is equals to two tablets Okay, so that's um, the answer for this question. Now we go to calculating mixtures and solutions. So this is pretty much um, the same as calculating your tablet dosages. The only thing is we do have a volume that has been added on to calculate. Okay, so we go to the question. A person is ordered 15 milligram of stamatil. It's for um, nausea and vomiting. Okay, so you have 2 mil of solution which contains 25 milligram of stamatil. Now the question is what volume of solution would you give to the patient? Now applying the five steps, going to step number one, we have to know our numbers and then identify what is being asked. Having to read the question, we already have an overview. What would be the formula to use? What numbers do we need to calculate? And also the units of measurements um, being asked. Okay. In here, it's very clear that we don't need to convert which is our step number two. So you always wanted to ask your question if you do need to convert or not. Otherwise, we won't be able to get the correct answer. Okay, but in this particular question, we don't need to convert. Now, the third step is we need to choose the formula. Okay, for calculating mixtures and solutions, as I said, it's the same as the tablet dosage. The only thing that's been added on is we need to multiply to the stock volume that we have in the given question. Now step number four is calculate using the formula. For this particular question, we um, already chose the formula which is required dose over stock dose multiplied by the stock volume is equals to volume to be given and that's what is being asked in this question. Okay. So remember your required dose is the doctor or the dose ordered by the doctor which is 15 milligram of istamatil and our stock dose which is the 25 milligram. Okay, so our volume would be the 2 mil of the solution which has been specified for you. Now calculating that 15 milligram divided by 25 milligram multiply by the, vo the stock volume would equal to 1.2 mils volume to be given to the patient and of course the last step is we always need to check the unit of measurement being asked which in this particular question volume is being asked okay so we now crossing out that um, unit of measurement again so then we are left with Mills. Okay, so our answer would be 1.2 mils to be given to the patient. Now we go to calculating intravenous rate. We do have a question here. A patient has been ordered a thousand mil of intravenous normal saline to run over eight hours. We have to calculate the drip rate. Okay, whenever we give um, uh, a solution like this obviously we need to use an intravenous pump 
okay now going back to that five steps that we have the first one we need to know the numbers and identify what is being asked we do have an overview already what formula do we need to use the numbers we need to calculate calculate it with and the unit of measurements to get the correct answer now remember your step number two convert if needed and in this particular question we don't need to convert so we now go to step number three which is choose the formula according to the numbers at hand okay remember the question you'll be asking yourself is it a do tablet dosage a mixture of solution or is it an intravenous medication which at this um, particular question we it is act an actual intravenous uh, medication that we need to give to the patient so for this particular question we need to use this formula okay so volume which is in mils so if it's in liter we need to convert that okay and then over or divided by the hour okay so obviously if we're given minutes here we do still need to convert it to hour will then equals to the drip rate so remember your step number four is to calculate using the formula which i'm going to go through that process with you okay so what is our volume it's very specific here it's 1000 mils okay so we put that there and then the hour which is eight hours so we divide that and we'll get to the answer of 125 mils per hour and we go to step number five which is making sure that we have the right unit of measurement being asked which is the drip rate remember with our um uh numbers here we don't need to cancel out the unit of measurement that's why the correct unit of measurement for that for our answer is 125 mils per hour in this particular question i do hope that you've learned from these steps that i've made especially for you remember when it comes to calculating drug dosages you always have to double check because we wanted to get the correct answer and another tip for you is to always practice 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 so then you'll be more familiar with the drug calculation formula and to getting the correct answer as well now thank you so much for watching this video please do comment down below if you have any suggestions or questions that you would like to ask me Thanks for watching. Bye for now.